Hey guys, this is Pat from Dungeon Air Cartoons, and I'm going to teach you how to make your own cartoons using Flash. Ah, shit. So let's get started. So we're going to go to Create New, Action Script 3.0. Okay? First thing you're going to want to do is go over here and change the frames per second to 25 instead of 24. It will just make things look a little bit smoother. Um, then the size of the stage, we want to be 1280 to 720, because that's going to make everything in HD. So that when you upload your stuff to YouTube, it's going to look really nice. It's going to look really crisp. It's not going to look like total shit. So we're going to get started by looking down here at the timeline. The timeline is going to be the most important thing to use in Flash because it dictates everything, where everything is, when everything plays, when everything stops. So when you start getting into more complex projects, you're going to have a ton of layers. So right now we only have one, but eventually you're going to start having a ton of layers and you're going to want to keep everything organized and everything labeled. I can't stress that enough. I mean, there's been so many times when I've had stuff just completely ruined because I just didn't have my or uh, my timeline organized enough. So always, always, always keep that organized. Put stuff in folders. Make sure it looks nice and neat. Um, it will make your life a lot easier. So we're just going to go ahead in this first frame and we're just going to draw a circle perfect circle all right actually we're gonna make him a face bam all right now down here every single one of these white boxes is an empty frame which pretty much means that it's not gonna register anything when you play the video so if we hit control enter nothing's playing it's basically just looping that first frame over and over and over again because there's nothing else for the computer to read um, this is a really shitty cartoon. No one ever watched this. I'm not going to get a million views doing this unless there's a lot of stone people watching your cartoons. But you guys don't do drugs. I know my audience. You guys are good kids. All right, so let's make a cartoon about this face going across the screen to the other side. So in order to do that, we're going to need to... Well, there's, there's different ways to animate it. You could literally animate it frame by frame making the face move or you can tween it which is the easiest way tweening pretty much means that if the computer will fill in all the frames for you and it will do the animation for you it looks very smooth but it also looks very robotic and clunky and it just doesn't have any feeling to it but I'll show you that right now um, so if I were to click all the way out to here right click so whenever you right click on a frame, it's going to bring you up these options. You can insert frame, insert keyframe, and insert blank keyframe, which are probably going to be the most used ones. If I insert frame, it's going to insert frames all the way up to the point that I clicked. So it's going to insert frames for all of these things. Now the problem with that is that all these frames are going to be the same exact thing that this keyframe is. And you know it's a keyframe because there's a circle. So if I were to go out to here and say I want to erase one of his eyes, it's going to register that in every single one of these frames because I never made a keyframe to denote change. So we're going to undo that. So anytime you want change to happen, you're going to want to right click and insert a keyframe. So now if I change him, let's say we'll change him to an angry face it will only read that up until this point. So everything before it is still what that original keyframe was. So if we, if we play through it, bam, it changes only when, boom, it changes only when we hit that keyframe. So if I were to, let's drag this out a little bit further. If I were to make another keyframe here, up ahead, I'll erase this. All right, and we'll change him into He's all say what all right he's all like that so every time it hits the keyframe it's gonna change the face or whatever it is that you that you've drawn so always remember that if you want something to change anything at all even the smallest change you have to make another new keyframe so let's just get rid of these two keyframes also to get rid of a keyframe you just right click it and do clear keyframe and that gets rid of it and changes it back into whatever the, the keyframe is before it so we're gonna delete both these keyframes 
Okay, so now that we've learned a little bit about keyframes, now I'm going to show you how to tween stuff, which is basically the computer making the animation for you. So we're going to go on to our timeline here, right click and insert keyframe. Now I want his face to go all the way to this side of the screen. So if we were to just watch this, it would just be his face just moving over, just bam, going over to the other side of the screen. And that's not really that interesting to watch, so we're going to tween it so that it moves, it actually move moves, not just like pops up in the new spot. So what we're going to do here is highlight the first keyframe to the second keyframe and right click. And when you right click, it's going to show you a bunch of different options for tweening. There's motion tweening, shape tweening, and classic tweening. And they all do something slightly different, but just to keep things simple, we're going to create a classic tween. So now if you look at our timeline, it actually changed this layer. It's now colored in, and there's now an arrow leading from this keyframe to this keyframe, which designates movement. So if we play this, now he's going across the screen in all the frames. And uh, where there's dots over here, that means that there's no keyframe ahead of it for where it wants to go. So if we make another keyframe and drag him up here, and now we play it this time, it's going to go to that keyframe and then to this keyframe. And it's going to move to wherever you, it's going to instantly move where you want it to go. So if we watch the video, this is what it looks like. And it's just going to do this over and over and over again. Um, so that's just a little bit about tweening. Um, you can, the more you practice with it, the more complex you can make things with tweening. Um, but next video, I'll show you a little bit more about frame by frame, hopefully. Uh, so this is Pat from Dungeoneer Cartoons, and yeah.